Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, nail stamp. And um, I know that when you first start out that it can be extremely frustrating and um, a lot of times it doesn't seem like it's worth the trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you some of the things that I've learned um, the hard way through trial and error. Now the very first thing uh, that you should know is that um, nail stamping is very, very contingent on your stampers, okay? So nine times out of ten when you buy a stamper, it is not primed, which means it will not work or it will not work properly. Now stampers like this one, the jellies, they always work. However, when you are starting out nail stamping, these are not a good fit for people because you can't see through them uh, to line up the image and to nail stamp. You have to physically take your nail, take the stamper, and try to roll it on. And, you know, between scraping, the stamping polish, the stamper, that's all just a little too much when you're first starting out. So if you do have stampers like this, you know, keep them, they're wonderful, but don't try to use them initially until you're a lot, you know, more familiar with stamping. You're going to want to use your clear jellies, any jelly that you can see through. It doesn't matter if they're round, square, you know, whatever, as long as you can see through the bottom of it so that you can see what you're doing, that's what you want. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, because um, your, actual, your actual stamping templates, they all work. All you have to do is take 100% pure acetone. Once you've taken the blue uh, protective sheet off of it and just wipe it down real quick and they'll work. What you have to do for your stampers, especially the clear ones, um, is... Um, another channel that I'm actually subscribed to, her channel is at Snazzy Nail Art by Tia. She has a lot of videos on how to clean your stampers, um, just a lot of how to's, and she also does nail art. And I learned this from watching her channel because don't be like me. <laughs> I didn't know that, you know, it was all contingent on your stamper. And I literally have bought, my collection of stampers is about 50. That's five zero, ladies. So don't be like me. <laughs> so what you need to do is you need to take your stamper heads off. And you get a bowl and you fill it with warm water. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you add some dish soap. I use Dawn. And then you either add a little lemon juice or um, some fresh lemon. You stir it all up. You take all of your heads that you would like to use, all of your stampers, just the heads that you would like to use, and you put it in that solution for about a minute. And then when you take them out, you just rub them a little with your thumb or your finger and you put them on a paper towel or um, a dishcloth and you pat them dry. Don't rub because you might tear your um, stamper heads. You just pat them dry. And then once they're dry, you put them back into their holders and you take your, your rolly or your lint roller, or if you don't have these, I just get these ones from Walmart that are 99 cents for my nail art. Um, and you clean off all the extra lint from your stamper heads because it doesn't matter what kind you use you're gonna get lint so and then once you've done that all of your stampers should work and that's the, the key important part to stamping and then what you're gonna want to have at your disposal is your rolly that I just showed you um, these round facial cleansing cloths and I use 100% pure acetone. And I have it in a little container that's, that you squish the top on and it comes right out onto your, your round facial cleanser. 
And that's how you can clean your plates. And your rolly is to clean your stamper heads once you've done your stamping. The other thing that's important is um, <clears throat> a lot of times when you buy stamp stampers, they come with different scrapers. And I have a huge assortment to show you. So there's little tiny stampers. There's kind of hard stampers that are smaller. Or excuse me, scrapers. Then there's the normal size scrapers. And then there's these really thick ones. And I don't use the real thick ones at all. And then there's these ones from Buttle Monster that are a little thicker. You need to play around with these and see which one you prefer the best because they all have a different degree of pressure when you go to scrape an image. And it doesn't matter which one you use, it just it has to be your preference. Okay. And then also, obviously, you need your stamping polish. And for today, I'm just going to be using white. And I did up uh, a sample nails right here. That's why I chose white, because this is a darker background. I wanted you guys to be able to see it. Now, when you go to stamp, you have your scraper, you have your clean stamper. It is all about speed, ladies. It should literally take five to eight seconds from the time that you put the nail polish down to scrape and then the time that you apply it to your nail. You can't dilly-dally because that's when people get into trouble. They're like, I scraped it great, it worked, I went on my stamper great, and then I go to put it on my nail and, I'm, and then you're sitting there like this, hovering, going, oh, well, which way should I put it? Uh, what should I do? And then by the time you go to place it on, it's already dried on your stamper. That's why it won't stamp. So, like I said, you're just going to take a round facial sponge. You're going to clean your plate. Get it all nice and clean. And then because I have these set up like this, I always pull it out first to get a hold of it. And then you just pick the image that you would like to place onto the stamp. And I always clean the back of my stamping polish off on the edge of the bottle so it doesn't drip. And then you take your stamping polish, you put it over the image like so. Scrape, pick up. If there's access, you can quickly, very quickly, get rid of it. And then you're going to very quickly place the image onto the nail. My camera doesn't like to focus when there's stuff in the background. See? Perfect. It's all about speed. Apply the nail polish to the image. Be ready. Scrape, lift, place. Already know in your mind how you want the image to be on your nail. What direction, everything. And you'll be fine. So again, I'll show that to you for you. Clean your plate. I'm going to get my nail ready because I've got my nail ready, my plate's ready. What design do I want to choose? I think I'm going to choose the moon one down here. Scrape the back off, place, scrape, lift, quickly get rid of access. place on nail very quickly and look perfect pickup perfect placement and it came out fabulous
then you clean your plate again and then you go ahead make sure there's nothing left on your stamper which there wasn't because those were smaller images otherwise you would clean it set aside but close to you your scraper when you scrape off you always pull down on your towel or your napkin to clean it for the next one and then you're going to go ahead pick another image that you would like I'm going to go for the heart up here quickly scrape pick up remove the excess very quickly center onto the nail and place no problems whatsoever So like I said, it's all about timing and it's also all about your stampers. Your stampers need to be cleaned the way that I explained and to make them actually work on any uh, stamping plate that you have. And we have one more here. Like I said, you just keep everything very close to you so you know right where it is. Stamping polish. Scrape. Pick up. I don't need to take the excess off of this one because they're far enough away. Place on the nail. If you can remember these key things, you will have no trouble whatsoever doing nail stamping. You'll actually love it. You'll, you'll just really fall in love with it like I did. But like I said, the two key things is a, you're priming your stamper by washing it the way that I said, and also about timing. It's all about timing because you need to think it's about timing because nail polish dries just like paint or anything that's liquid <clears throat> and especially when you're putting it into images that the lines on the images are so fine and teeny tiny it's gonna dry very very quickly well ladies I hope that this helped and I hope that you enjoyed this video and this was a request by one of my subscribers so I hope that she enjoyed this video as well thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe